Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD is here. Sega recently asked me if I wanted to take a look at this new HD port of an old classic Wii game and I said yes, hell yes I do, I love me some Monkey Ball. Even made a complete history on the series well, quite a while ago now so there'll be a link up there if you want to go and check that out. Uh, but yeah, Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD, nice. It's an HD remake of a stupidly popular Wii launch game and, well, it does look pretty slick, I'm sure you'll all agree. If you fancy getting it, there'll be an affiliate link down below. But, but, but guys, before you do generously support Slopes Game Room and buy this game, I think we've all got to ask ourselves, why? Why does this exist? Look guys, like I said, I enjoy Monkey Ball, I always have done, and sure, the old style versus the newer revamped cartoony style just comes down to taste. I prefer the look of the older games, but hey, that's just me. There's no denying that this new version looks stunning. Beautiful, in fact. The problem I have with this game though, even though it is cheaper, again, there's an affiliate link down below, is that this game right here cost me £2.50 and it's better in every single way, uh, you know, besides the graphics, if you want to be wrong. Banana Blitz HD is essentially an HD remake of this game. The problem with that is that this game used motion controls, which for some reason they stripped out for the remake. Now, if you are like me, that's a good thing because standard controls are definitely better than motion controls, right? I mean, yes, sure, this remake feels a whole lot better when using an analog stick, but at the same time, it feels a whole lot easier too. The original was purposely made easier because of the motion control handicap, and because of that, it doesn't get properly challenging until about World 5-ish. I'm not saying I didn't have fun with the game, I definitely did. It's Monkey Ball at its core, and they sussed that mechanic out on the very, very first release. And I'd be lying if I didn't say those last two worlds in the new Monkey Ball 8D remake were not challenging. They were, and they were a really good time to play. But sadly, that's such a small part of the overall Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD package. Monkey Ball is all about precision, timing, and balance. It's simple. You control the monkey in a ball by tilting the world around him to get him to his target. Nothing really gets changed here between those first two titles, and in this regard, the deluxe pack was essentially a greatest hit of those two games, featuring all of the levels included and a nice chunk more. However, in this newer HD version, they opted to port a release that favoured the clumsy controls and included a jump button, which I'm pretty sure any hardcore fan will not appreciate, as it makes it even more clumsy. And you know what else that original Wii game brought to the series? Boss battles. Oh, oh, oh. Do I hate the boss battles in Monkey Ball games? The camera now changes to a fixed perspective instead of being behind you, and the collision is so weirdly off, you never know if you're just going to fly off into a random direction. But on top of that, another amazing selection in any Monkey Ball game is its selection of mini games. And again, they perfected this first time round and messed it up with the Wii release. That original Wii release had 50 mini games in, only about 10 or so you'd actually want to play because they're all motion control games. And thankfully this version, well, they've only put 10 in there. You know, they've got rid of all the motion control -y games. But even still, those 10, they're quite forgettable. And <laughs> that's Banana Blitz HD. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you go way, way, way back on my channel to one of my first ever videos, I explain how I want Sega to be more like Nintendo and release new versions of old properties that they completely forgot about, which, you know, they actually have done here. They've also done that with Wonder Boy, Rez, the Sega Ages series, Shenmue, the Mega Drive Mini, and upcoming titles such as Streets of Rage 4, Panzer Dragoon, Space Channel 5, and a whole crap ton of Yakuza titles. The problem is, Monkey Ball doesn't need this treatment. It was literally perfect from the get-go and there's nothing left to do with it except for adding motion controls, which we didn't want, Wii balance board support, which we didn't want, touch controls, which we didn't want, actually that one wasn't too bad, and that really bad release that you're not allowed to say out loud. Monkey Ball Adventure. <laughs> That affiliate link isn't looking as appealing now, is it? 
Look, like I said, at its core, Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD is still Monkey Ball. And sure, this version may be an HD re-release with fewer features of a version nobody was asking for, but hey, at least you get to unlock Sonic in this one. And honestly guys, for all of you out there that actually do want a nice progression onto the Monkey Ball series, my suggestion is to actually go and look up the Rock of Ages releases. Rock of Ages 2 was actually published by Sega and that's a fantastic game on the Switch. Definitely, definitely get that. And for those that really, really do want to support the show, there'll be an affiliate link for the future release of Rock of Ages 3 down below. Super Monkey Ball!